Hello, welcome to the channel. I'm Sean. I'm Chris. And today we are brought here to check out The Agonist Remnants in Time. Yeah, um, it's been a while. I don't think we have any Agonist songs on the channel. I haven't to them in a while, just right. to be honest. Like, it's been. Well, I've been keeping up with them because, like, I'm a fan of the new singer. And every, I mean, she's been with the band for a minute now, but it used to be uh, Alyssa White, the current lead singer of Arch Enemy. I think, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, I because I, I only know like a few songs by then. They're all jamming, super heavy, and everything like that. But like at first, I found I didn't listen to Arc and Arch Enemy or anything before. The Agonist was the band that I started with, and like I like a lot of their early songs that have Alyssa as the singer and everything. So when they got a new singer, it was like, eh, like. This is gonna get all fucked up, you know. Like that's what You'd you feel think. like that, and, yeah, but with any group. Yeah, but then, sure. like, they kind of grew into like their own style with the new singer, and she fits perfectly. And have plenty of songs that are. They're one of the bands that go. I don't know if this is gonna be like that, but you know how like we usually have like a limit on like how heavy we we like a metal song. Well, they're like there and like super heavy but you find like the rhythms in it and like even just screaming and growling and everything like that she kills it like lyrically and rhythm wise like it's catchy but still raw and everything so it's a cool balance that they've came across at least in my experience so yeah it, it'll be interesting like i said i haven't listened to them a lot very much like lately I mean, I, I I remember listening to some of their stuff before, but I think it's been. Have you even heard anything with the new? Years, so I don't. Maybe not I've even with the new the like, like, like the Invertigo song and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound familiar. No, uh, I mean maybe maybe if we watched it or listened to it. Right. But I think it's been a couple of years since I've, I've really checked them out. So yeah, I'm interested to see now that I, I know Get that. Get back up. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So can you think of anything before we hop in? No, ready to check it out. Yeah. Well, if you're new here, hit subscribe. We notice and appreciate it. I think you're pretty cool if you do. And leave a comment. We'd like to read them and reply. I'm about to spit up the camera. Oh, dang. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's funny how you see it. Okay. I mean, Remnants in Time, like, that sounds like it's going to be a slower song. Right. Yeah. Like... Well, the thumbnail was this. There. I like the key change to make it sound eerie. Mm -hmm. like... Yeah. It's already heavier than what I thought it was going to get to, <laughs> especially in, this like... early. It's also a longer song, and our oh, theory yeah, of longer yeah. songs are usually slower, and, sl and shorter songs are usually faster.
it takes so much talent to sing like that. Because like if I tried to sing like that for just even like, one measure, it'd be like, no, nah, my voice is gone, dude. That's like yeah. One measure was gone. Like a lot of loud <coughs> recording whole albums and songs. But imagine like touring, you know, like every day you got an hour's worth of just, and that's just on stage time. It's yeah. not like prep. Practice yeah. or anything like set up, nothing like. Dude, that that's shit's cool. tight, dude. Like, because I wasn't expecting like that bounciness Back coming in, into like, it. So yeah. at first, it's like, okay. It's crazy how a song like that can begin and end like so eerily peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but then just chaos like all in the middle and there was so many Props. It, um, it's crazy, yeah, like the structure of the song isn't how I would imagine the structure would be like the changes that they made were unexpected and right. I like that. Like it was, it was cool to see or hear that. Like It definitely makes it to where like when you listen to it again and you start to learn what's coming that you can get like more excited. And cause like some things it's like, Oh, let me refine my rhythm again. Um, and everything not, it wasn't like too jarring or anything, but it did change patterns all the way yeah. through. So like once you start to know them, this will definitely be a song that, gets better with every listen because you can get more excited like yeah like i'm following along the entire time not oh shit oh, this shit. is where we're at this is where we're at but, yeah no so. it wasn't too jarring but yeah it was definitely noticeable and the changes weren't what i was expecting right yeah. you expect like when it drops it's like oh it's getting then it's like oh it went bouncy here we go yeah. fucking yeah it's a 
that's what that's about how all, all their songs are it's very like heavy screamy kind of that but it still like keeps you going and it isn't just like somebody's just screaming in your face while the band's doing blast beats yeah. you know like they're heavy without trying to just go as fast as, as much possible. noise as i can yeah because like, yeah. sometimes to me the wall of noise is just like meh. you know like i'm Usually heavy is not a term. Like I like metal. I like a lot of metal and everything like that. But heavy is not a term that turns me on. Yeah. It's definitely more like energetic, fast and things like that. Intricate. Like but just oh, it's brutally heavy. Like good. Like go put it on like metal ocalypse or something. Yeah. And so but can you think of anything else before we get out of here? No. Glad we checked it out. Yeah, it was badass. So thanks for watching with us. See you next time.